pick a time. Maybe like spring or summer would be great too. We can all go fishing. Yeah, come, you, I bring the boys. You come out July, Spring's tough August. for me because in March and April I'm stuck in Australia doing some work. Oh really? But um, Tito um, was just the in summer Aust there is the winter for you. Tito was just in Australia. Yeah, right. Is it? No, 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 no. The winter for me is a good time for me to come to you. May, June. Right, or June. Uh, June would be July please. and August or July. You, uh, we're, we're gonna, I don't, we'll find a way to exchange. Somehow, yeah, June and then, July. Uh, you, so it would all you gotta do is let me know. How's I'll, that for you? I'm there all the time to... except my kid's heavy into camp, so yeah. I'm yeah. like, yeah. I'll be gone like four yeah. days and then I'm back, and then four days and then I'm back. No, I understand. So yeah. it's yeah. not that common. In, in August. Don't give any names, but you're in the city, right? Sorry? Where you, where I'd love a beer. Your, uh, yeah. your hotel. I know mm -hmm. Jack, ja yeah. Just put Jackson's but, USA and then they'll come to our yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice name. That means that they know where, you, but see what's, that's not Did nothing to be proud of. They know where you are. Did you ever get one that said planet Earth? in the gun sites. Did you ever get one that said planet Earth? Planet Earth. That means we're Jerry in the crosshairs, Jackson, doesn't it? Jim, planet Earth. They know oh, yeah, where you are. Oh yeah, we know where he is. It's right up the street down the thing. You can't hide. Well, I hate getting mail though. I hate mail. I don't like getting mail. No kind of mail. You got mail. I don't like mail, you? I don't yeah, like me it. Too. me too. It's like they I know agree, where you are, they go, send oh, it no. to you. It's a dread. I yeah. Dread I love I bills. Dread and I, you know what I dread mail. the phone? I don't answer the phone. You know, I just don't answer the phone. I don't like so the phone either. I, I'll give you a number that I do answer. It never okay. rings because it's, it just doesn't okay. ring because there's so few people that have it. I wonder, Just say export. You ask yeah, someone for a phone. When you fly back, do you fly into Seattle from here? I probably will. I'll go back the same way. Yeah, go back the same way. Seattle, um, um, I'm over here in Seattle. It's a long trip. East Road, Seattle, yeah. Because Seattle is, 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 North, is yeah. 800 miles west of where mm -hmm. I live. Mm -hmm. So then I, I got to go past your house. Yeah, it's about 600 air miles. No good going to Chicago? And I fly back. Yeah. So I've never gone that route. They, they booked me that way. But what if you I go to Canada, then come down into your place? There are no direct flights from, from Canada? Yeah, Calgary, I think. Calgary, yeah. which is yeah. really close. Yeah, because that's a stop before you get into the States, pretty much. Can be. And it's not worth, doing, I, I it's not worth doing Chicago and then you just pop up? No. Chicago? Chicago, that's no way. That's there. too far. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, I mean, it's a half on the way. Sometimes I go to L.A. and get on bird. Hard, Montana's hard to get to, which is great. I love it. Yeah. It direct. It's not direct. That's what's you gotta good about it. Go <laughs> yeah. You gotta really want it. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing direct. I think uh, they had some direct flights to California in the summer. Songwriter friend of mine, Danny O'Keefe, uh, he. They can't get to me. You got to work hard to find me. They can get Spoken to me. Yeah. No, they, they can't. can't get to me though. You can't find my place. I have
mile. So you can drive down in a car, but you you don't think you can. You know, it's, it's no, you good. can, but I know that. Well, and you know, everybody it's a similar that's thing. moved there, all these people, you know, and I'm all around them. First thing they do when they come and buy a place, <laughs> big trees and the big arch, whispering pines, Mount Elk Mountain Ranch. And they put lights on it, and they put really? things on it. Oh, I'm here, I'm in Montana, this is my place, it's big, it's beautiful, now I'm here. Advertising. Oh, you can't miss it, you drive down, oh, look at that entrance, wow, I wonder who lives there. Oh, I wonder who lives, look at that, it's big stone, like Hollywood home fancy the stars, fences. Yeah. You know, it's like... I had a neighbor, Unnecessary. I had a, I, one of my close friends up there was a really interesting guy. And he was, he was born into money, never worked a day in his life. Most of those guys are a waste. This guy wasn't. He never worked, but he knew he never worked. And he, you never, and this guy, when you met him, 